Yo guys, welcome to our channel. The channel is Nazbin. Kindly, if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Today we are going to talk about the six fruits that, that make the penis harder. The six fruits that make the penis harder. Guys, the channel is Nazbin. My name is Vincent. Wait, this is where we get to talk matters medical in a simple language which we can always understand. And that's why you need to like the video. So that YouTube gets to recommend us to a larger population and such important, such basic things as fruits and pain and uh, erection. Anxiety is also another complication where mental stress and anxiety are cropping. So concerns of uh, sexual function uh, can also become an issue there where one creates a cycle of stress and also continual difficulties with the erection at the end of the day. So when you are very anxious, it becomes very difficult to have that erection and also satisfy your partner sexually or have that penal erection. Relationship issues also is another complication. So because of strain of intimate relationships, erectile difficulties can cause stress, frustration, and also emotional distance between partners, potentially leading to relationship problems. Depression and also low self-esteem Mental health impact, struggling with erectile issues is also another problem where uh, one now gets it become difficult to engage in sexual intercourse and now we have uh, what you call problems with conceiving and it becomes a big problem. Also infertility crops in as a complication. Penal tissue damage, scarring and reduced function. So conditions like reapism, if not treated immediately, can cause permanent damage to the penile tissue, leading to erectile dysfunction and another complication. Cardiovascular concerns, so indicator of underlying issues, erectile dysfunction can be sometimes be an early warning of other cardiovascular problems such as atherosclerosis, that's an adding of the arteries of the heart, which can lead to heart attack or a stroke at the end of the day. Side effects of treatment, sometimes Medication related issues, some treatment for erectile dysfunction such as oral medication such as Viagra or Cialis can cause side effects such as headache, uh, flushing, indigestion, nasal congestion and also a rare case can cause also visual disturbances. So when this one comes in, uh, such co-treatment also can risks can also be there uh, such as having penal implants the car risks of infections and also rare cases can cause visual disturbance at the end of the day. Also because of the procedures, especially the, the operation procedures, they can cause they can cause mechanical it can have mechanical pain mechanical failure. We may have postoperative pain, we may have infections because of the surgeries involved at the end of the day. Reduced quality of life is also another complication where now we have persistent erection problems, they reduce the uh, quality of life at the end of the day, uh, affecting personal happiness, confidence, and also satisfaction in intimate relationships. So pain during erection is also another, another complication, where phys there is physical discomfort. Pain during uh, erections can be a complication of various conditions, including the pyoneal disease or infection. Urinary issues may also be another complication where one may develop uh, especially complications related to urination where we have difficulty with urination they like perineal disease or prostate issues can also lead to urinary problems so it's very key if you experience one of these symptoms to consult with the healthcare provider for proper diagnosis treatment and interventions to prevent uh, or manage issues more effectively and also improve both physical and also mental health outcomes. So on the prevention part of it, of the ED and related complications, adop adopting healthy lifestyle habits, managing medical conditions and maintaining well uh, overall well-being. The, the key strategies have patients about health uh, lifestyle choices by regular exercise, balanced diet, maintaining healthy weight, Avoid harmful habits to prevent this. Quit smoking, limit alcohol intake. Also avoid illicit drugs, uh, so which may interfere with your sexual function and cause ED or 
what you call the rectal dysfunction. Get regular health checkups, guys. Monitor blood pressure and the cholesterol regularly so that you can you can find the damage for you can detect early and prevent the damage of the vessels to restrict the blood which can restrict restrict to the blood flow to the penis side side and also regular checkups can help uh, detect any complication early so that you may be helped at the end of the day also control diabetes if you have diabetes work with your healthcare provider to manage your blood sugar levels Poorly controlled diabetes can lead to nerve and the blood vessel damage and increase the risk of what you call erectile dysfunction. Check the testosterone levels. Low testosterone levels can contribute to erectile dysfunction. If you experience symptoms of low testosterone, such as low libido or fatigue, consult with your doctor for testing and also potential treatment. Also, very key, prioritize sleep. Get enough sleep of 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep per night. This can, in, in, this can help you produce enough testosterone, which can help you at the end of the day to function very well with your erection. Engaging in regular sexual activity also is very key to keep active sexually. Regular activity, sexual activity can help maintain erectile function at the end of the day, guys. So by promoting healthy blood flow to the penis at the end of the day, open communication with your partner is also another, another thing. Talk about sexual concerns with your partner because open communication with your partner about your sexual preferences, needs and concerns can reduce the anxiety and improve your sexual experience at the end of the day. Consider medication when very necessary. Use uh, ED medication responsibly, that's what I can say. If prescribed by a doctor, medication like Viagra, that's Sildenafil, uh, Cialis, also or Tadalafil, or the Vitra, or what you call Vadafil, can help uh, manage erectile difficulties. Follow up with your doctor uh, for your proper guidance, uh, because these drugs also can be very detrimental or can bring you a lot of problems. So use them carefully as uh, uh, controlled by your uh, your doctor so use your medication responsibly limit exposure to environment toxins avoid toxins reduce uh, exposure to environmental toxins such as heavy metals like lead and chemicals which can affect uh, overall health including sexual function especially those who are farmers and use sprays uh, those chemicals to spray the vegetables and also the car the cut to cut cool and also the livestock, yeah, you should take, you should be on your protective gears so that you avoid those uh, 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 heavy metal exposure or to limit the those toxins uh, which can affect your electrical function at the end of the day. Also, consider regular medical screening is very key. Regular screening for cardiovascular health is very key since ED can be very an uh, sign of a cardiovascular disease. Uh, regular screenings for heart health can help uh, detect and address the potential issues before they become uh, serious. Educate yourself, guys. Stay informed is also another very key thing. Where you understand the factors that can uh, influence the erectile health, can empower you to make proper choices and, prepare, uh, and, and uh, prevent any complication and seek early intervention as early as, as possible. By incorporating these practices in your daily life, guys, and your routine, you can reduce the risk of erectile uh, dysfunction and also maintain uh, your sexual life uh, at the optimum. If you experience persistent issues with the erections, consult with the healthcare provider, very key, for comprehensive and also evaluation and personalized advice. Maintaining up and improving erectile uh, health very closely it involves physical and also mental well-being, guys. By adopting a healthy lifestyle, managing stress, avoiding habits that risk uh, that can risk uh, you, avoiding harmful habits, and seeking medical advice can can help you as needed. You can significantly reduce the risk of erectile dysfunction and related complications by regular exercise, by having that balanced diet, adequate sleep and also open communication with your partner are the key strategies in preventing and managing uh, erection-related issues. If problems persist, like I always say guys, consult with the healthcare provider uh, or professional so that it, uh, the proper diagnosis is made 
and the effect treatment is uh, commenced. So it, oh, this is all to ensure that your sexual health and overall uh, quality of life are preserved. Guys, my name is Vincent, channel is Nazwin, and I want you to welcome you to our next video. Peace, guys. Welcome. And we talk, when we talk about penis harder, we are talking about erection, that it can also be covered there. So guys, we are back with a bang. We had some technical issues, but now we are back and we are going to be consistent with our production. We had uh, issues with uh, our uploading machine, our laptop, but uh, we are working on something so that we may get uh, uh, something better. But if you find a way to support us through that, because we are getting a challenge on that, you can always uh, support us uh, so that we get the good content as this in the better or in the best way possible for our editing and also for uploading at the end of the day. Guys, six fruits that make our penis harder, that's what we're going to talk about today. So certain fruits are taught to promote blood, uh, better blood circulation and the overall health. Fruits are, uh, from our previous discussions, are very good with our health, and that's why we w really want to advocate for it in our daily life. So when we talk about uh, penis and also uh, how they help and to make it harder through the fruits, so that's why you need to sit back and watch uh, this kind of a video. So uh, the, indirectly, these fruits, they support uh, erectile function. While these fruits don't specify uh, or specifically make the penis harder, they can contribute to the improved uh, blood circulation and also heart health and also stamina, which are essential for our sexual health as men. So, guys, the six fruits. Number one, which is very going to is going to surprise you. We're talking about something, some fruit which is very important. Can you make a wild guess? I'm talking about the basic fruits. Inside it's red in color. Outside it's green in color. Which fruit is that? Yeah, the director is saying watermelon. That's number one, watermelon. When we talk about watermelon, uh, from our previous discussions, we talked about it's rich in what we call amino acids and uh, especially what we call citron. Uh, citrulline uh, is a, a very great component of the watermelon which, can Im which improves uh, blood circulation and blood flow. This makes uh, the blood vessels to relax and also uh, uh, and this one works uh, from the studies, it works the same way Viagra works on the relaxing the vessels so uh, making that person to have or making you to have that erection so if you have, are having issues with your erection or your partner is having issues with the erection it's very key that you get to involve yourself with this watermelon because of the what the component which is called uh, strulin um, Strulin, I'm going to uh, pin it here, Strulin, uh, that's like a very great component, amino acid called st uh, Strulin, so that it has to help you with the relaxation of the vessels and also improve uh, erection at the end of the day. Number two is what we call uh, pomegranate. Uh, pomegranate. Pomegranate is a, also a very special fruit, so it's known for uh, it is a antioxidant properties. Uh, when we talk about promagrade, I'm going to also to pin it here. Promagrade, I'm going to get spe to spell it here. So that is uh, promagrade, yes. So when we talk about promagrade, it's very key also where we get to. Uh, it it has uh, that the the, chew, the juice in it. It enhances blood flow also and reduces the oxidative process and also potentially benefiting. The erectile function at the end of the day. Number three is also surprising. Yes, that fruit. I'm going to pin that picture there. You can see it. Yes, banana. That's what we're going to talk about. When you talk about banana, it's high in potassium and also is very key to help blood circulation. 
and previously we discussed it in uh, regulation of high blood pressure so banana is very key where we you get that uh, blood circulation and heart health is very uh, is a great component which uh, get, uh, have banana gets to help which are is important for maintaining erection at the end of the day because when we have good circulation and when you have heart health uh, where we get to control our blood pressure so that the you get the erectile function is catered for at the end of the day guys at the end of the day guys so also number four fruits very key is uh, going to is what we call citrus fruits when we talk about citrus fruits we're talking about the oranges we're talking about lemons and also grapefruits so in combination that's one class when we talk about oranges lemons and uh, grapefruits uh, they in the class of citrus fruits so these are high in vitamin c and this vitamin c improves the blood circulation that's its fun main function in the body so and boost the overall cardiovascular health so hence improving the erection of your penis at the end of the day so citrus fruits uh, i've talked about uh, when we talk about that class of citrus fruits we're talking about the oranges we're talking about the lemons and the grapefruits that are very key also in your heart health and improving your penis erection number five is about what you call the berries yes berries and when we talk about berries we're talking about blueberries we're talking about uh, strawberries they are very key in our health also on improving blood circulation and also they uh, because of what you call, they, they contain antioxidants and also they, they contain also what you call flavonoids so these these two components of the antioxidants and the flavonoids they which uh, they improve blood circulation and they reduce the risk of uh, erectile dysfunction so if you when you go to berries blueberries strawberries that are very key in improving blood circulation and heart health so they improve erectile function at the end of the day number six last but not least yes uh, number the last one uh, when we talk about uh, avocado avocado is a very key component when we talk about avocado is very packed with the healthy fats and it's also high in potassium it's high in vitamins is high uh, in these uh, components of the fats uh, healthy fats potassium and also vitamins so avocados support heart health and also improve blood circulations at the end of the day so guys the six fruits i've talked about watermelon i've talked about uh, uh, pomegranate 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 i've talked about bananas i've talked about uh, citrus fruits and in citrus fruits we talked about uh, oranges lemons grapefruits and uh, i've talked about uh, berries strawberries and blueberries i've talked about avocados the six fruits are very important in, in which uh, it gets to improve our erection so if you are looking for ways to improve your erectile function guys and uh, guys, uh, ladies and gentlemen so there are several strategies that can help you to keep your erectile uh, health uh, in, in, in place so you should uh, consider uh, uh, monitoring your health closely so because overall physical and also mental health is very important for your well-being so it is important to focus on both physical and also uh, the mental mental part of it so that you get to get, achieve this erectile function so number one is about healthy diet guys eat a balanced diet food rich in antioxidants like i've mentioned uh, healthy fats and the vitamins can promote uh, better blood flow so that's why we talked about those special fruits we talked about also we include also vegetables whole grains and also lean proteins so that uh, you become health health and apart from taking these uh, foods you need to hydrate yourself well stay hydrated take a lot of water because uh, dehydration or lack of water in the body uh, can reduce the blood flow and also uh, bring a lot of issues so make sure you drink plenty of water to stay health and also uh, uh, have your erectile function uh, in place. Regular exercise is another component which is very key in keeping your 
a penis harder or having that erectile function well. So regular exercise, when we talk about this, we are talking about cardio workout. It's very key in our life. So regular cardiovascular exercises, uh, like uh, when, we, when we talk about cardiovascular exercises, we're talking about uh, swimming, we're talking about running, we're talking about cycling. It improves uh, the health, uh, the health, and also uh, blood circulation. And uh, this is for crucial for maintaining erection at the end of the day. So strength training is also another way where you get to build your muscles to improve blood flow and also testosterone levels to improve your testosterone levels. And when you talk about strength training, you want you not to go into excesses or you go, you do it, ex you do it excessively because also testosterone, when it gets de depleted or gets uh, uh, higher levels, it brings you other complications. So regular exercise, a moderate, when we're talking about moderate health exercise, it improves the erection at the end of the day. Health uh, lifestyle choices, where you quit smoking, Yes, we don't begin about smoking in any way. If you want to have good erection, and uh, you have to, you want to have a good uh, heart health. It's very key that you stop smoking, and also for those who take alcohol, you limit alcohol intake because excessive drinking interferes with your ability to achieve or maintain an erection. And uh, from the studies, one drink for alcohol drink for ladies is allowed. Two drinks for men per day is allowed. So you, uh, it should be regulated as much as possible so that you get, don't get yourself into problems with the alcohol. Also very key, reduce stress because from the introduction part of it, I've talked about the being mental health. health mental health uh, is a very key component because chronic stress can affect your sexual health directly. So practices like meditation, yoga, deep breathing exercises, and also managing your stress, uh, and also can help manage the stress levels uh, very well so that you get to perform your uh, sexual functions or erectile function as appropriate. Maintaining healthy weight, so being overweight can lead to high blood pressure and diabetes, so which are very risky for erectile dysfunction. So losing weight is very necessary to help you improve your sexual health. Sleep well, yes, sleep well guys. Poor sleep can affect your hormones so and overall energy levels which contribute to erectile issues. So aim for 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep per night as very key also to improve your erectile function. Also consulting with your healthcare provider, especially uh, those people with medications. If uh, lifestyle changes are not enough, medications like Viagra, Sildenafil, that's what we talk about. Or uh, When we talk about um, what you call Cialis, or what they call tadala, tadala feel, or what you call levitra, or vadala feel, so can be prescribed by your doctor to improve your erectile function. But this should be taken by your, the consultation of the physician, not over the counter medication, because this can be abused and it can be very detrimental on your function, especially can bring a lot of heart issues and it may lead to sudden death if not used well. So check also underlying conditions with your doctor sometimes because of uh, uh, erectile dysfunction can be a sign of an, an, health, an underlying health condition such as heart disease, diabetes, or the low testosterone. So it is important to consult the healthcare provider as much as possible so that the proper diagnosis and treatment is made at the end of the day. Improve your relationship also. So, so where you consider psychological factors with your, with, your, your, with your partner by having open communication about your challenges, needs, expectations, so that you can improve your experience and reduce pressure at the end of the day. So it's very key also to address your anxiety. Performance anxiety or stress can impact erectile function. So speaking with a therapist or a counselor may help address these issues at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the day, guys. So, uh, on uh, sometimes we have some complications which come about with erectile problems. Well, number one is about erectile dysfunction, where chronic inability to achieve or maintain an erection. That's what we call ED or erectile dysfunction. It's very common common complication related to erectile function. So, where a man has ongoing difficulties in getting or keeping erection 
from a farm, enough of sexual intercourse is a problem. So ED can be caused can be caused by physical factors, psychological, or a combination of these factors. Number two complications, what we call reapism. Reapism is what when you talk about prolonged erection. Reapism is a very painful condition where an erection lasts for more than uh, four hours without sexual arousal. It requires immediate medical uh, attention to prevent permanent damage to the penis, such as scarring and also erection function. So, also what you call pioneer disease is also another complication related to erectile function. So, coverage of the penis, abnormal coverage of the penis, instead of being straight, it, go, it takes that ankle. So, this can be, it involves the development of fibrous scar, uh, inside the penis, leading to curved, and it's very painful at some point. Painful can lead to painful erections. It can result in difficulty in sexual function, and they may cause erectile uh, dysfunction.